The Sun Coast is no stranger to accolades, from home of the best beaches to the new title Huffington Post readers gave Sarasota this week. Tonight, SNS John Woodruff tells us what that's all about. The Huffington Post calls Sarasota one of the six best American cities for growing old and happy. But wait a minute, what about the 20 and 30 somethings? Don't we get to be happy here too? I wake up every morning and I wake up in paradise. Well, Lori Hagee is pretty happy and she likes her job as a show manager at Brides Against Breast Cancer. I am five minutes from the beach, but at the same time, I can go to work every day, have a, uh, you know, a rewarding job. But there's more to living in Sarasota than just working. It's almost like a light switch goes off at 11 o'clock. Mo Voto just named Sarasota one of the sexiest small cities in America, thanks in large part to its nightlife. Downtown Sarasota is a really great area to get drinks or dinner, dance a little bit. And hey, look at this. No, those aren't some pesky spring breakers. This is a beach full of Sarasotans at the Superboat Grand Prix in July. And those people look pretty young and pretty happy. People are telling their friends um, that Sarasota is a really warm and welcoming place and it's drawing people here. There isn't an age minimum or maximum here. Five years old to 95 years old. Um, and they all live in, in the area or they're coming from the, around the area and, and visitors and tourists alike. So it doesn't really matter who you are. Pull up a chair. We're all just happy to be here. Reporting in Sarasota, John Woodruff. SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Well, if you're new in town, young people say there's plenty of ways to make new friends in Sarasota. There's the Young Professionals Group. And if you're here for a job, it's always good to make some friends around the office.